Periodized eating. Now this is a fasting approach that I give to my belly burners that we usually do in week three. Now it's gonna seem very extreme, but if you've done a belly burn, especially if you've done a belly burn with me, then you'll realize that this fasting technique, which I call periodized eating, is phenomenal for helping you to shred fat and also lose some weight while you're preserving muscle. So we're gonna start this periodized eating off at 8 p.m. And then Monday at 10 or 11 a.m., you're going to have your green shake. So if you remember what the green shake is, that is a scoop of greens for the EAAs and the superfoods, and then as much spinach as you can pack into your blender and that you're able to handle. Me personally, I had a shake the other day and I packed in 120 grams of spinach, which is a lot of spinach. But for me, I'm able to handle that. For you, you might start off smaller in and around 40 grams. And then you're also gonna pair that with two fiber gummies. Now why? The greens and the fluids in the shake are gonna provide your stomach take the signal that it actually has food inside of it without actually having a ton of calories. Remember, spinach takes up a lot of volume, but it doesn't provide a lot of calories. And if you're already used to intermittent fasting, and if you've got body fat, then you don't have to worry about those calories because they're gonna come from your body fat regardless. And don't worry about losing muscle because down the road, if you're with me in a belly burn, we're gonna add back those calories. But for now, we're gonna take these two days, we're gonna shed some weight and shred some fat. Now with the green shake between 10 and 11 a.m., you're gonna have two fiber gummies. The fiber gummies are another way for your stomach to feel full. It's gonna absorb a lot of water. It's gonna provide a lot of volume in there. And again, it's all about the stomach tank signals. Then between 12 p.m., to 3 p.m. So you have a pretty big window where you're gonna have six ounces of protein. Whatever protein you choose, that's up to you. If you wanna go chicken, beef, fish, whatever works for you. If you're, if you're vegan, tofu, that's fine. If the calories or macros are slightly off, that's fine, okay? It doesn't have to be 100% pure protein. I just want it to be a slow digesting food source. And protein is one of the ones that you actually burn calories while you're eating. And it's slower digesting than if you just had like a bowl of porridge. Now you're gonna pair that with two cups of raw veggies and ideally a dark green veggie, okay? So dark greens have way more potency to them. They're gonna provide you with a lot more fuel than a regular like carrot or beet. So I want you to focus on the dark green so you got your spinach, your bok choy, you got your kale, you got your broccoli, like those are all greens that you can pair with your protein. And if you wanna add a balsamic vinaigrette, you can do that as well, because there's zero calories and it's not gonna influence your blood sugars. Then you're gonna also have that with a protein shake. And that's not gonna be a lot of food, but it's gonna actually feel like it's a lot of food, but that's gonna help you to preserve your muscles while keeping you fed. Now between three and 8 p.m., you can have EAAs, you can have your water, tea, and you're gonna pair that with two fiber gummies. Me personally, I'd rather opt for the EAAs at that point because EAAs help preserve the muscle. But if you need that midday boost, hey, go ahead, have the EAAs for your muscle, but also have your cup of coffee. But ideally have the coffee black or with the natural sweetener like Stevia, okay? The organic Stevia that we sell at the gym. If you need to add some type of cream, go with the whole cream, but just keep the calories really low. Okay, then you're gonna pair that with two fiber gummies, again, to suck up some of that water and to provide some of the bulk. Then at 8 p.m. or in and around 8 p.m., depending on when you get off the gym or work or whatever it is, you're gonna do the six ounces of protein again with two cups of raw veggies, ideally dark green, so you got your spinach, bok choy, kale, whatever works for you, you're gonna have your protein shake. And then after 8 p.m. until the next day, you're only going to drink water. Now we're on to Tuesday, and we're almost gonna repeat the exact same cycle. So this is a great way that you're gonna be able to push a low calorie budget for two days. So at 10 or 11 a.m., depending on your schedule and your workout times, you're gonna have your green shake, so that's the spinach, with the greens mixed with ice and water. I blend it up, I drink it, two fiber gummies. We're gonna repeat the 12 to 3 p.m. on Tuesday, six ounces of protein, two cups of raw veggies, one protein shake, but here's the twist, is that you're gonna add the two fiber gummies because it's gonna provide that bulk until you get your last meal, which is gonna be between five and 800 calories if you're in a super dieter mode. If you're a bigger person that has a lot of muscle, you know, mostly men, they're gonna consume between 1,000 and 1,200 calories, but generally for female, it's gonna be between five and 800 calories, but I want you to stop eating when you're full. So you don't have to eat all of the 800 calories. You can eat 500 calories, assess how you feel, and then you can choose if you wanna eat the rest of that. But if not, just stop there. Your stomach is good, 
okay? Your stomach is good. And I'm not worried about the macros, but if you wanna plug in macros into your MyFitnessPal, then you can do the 40, 30, 30 split. But again, I'm just focused more on the calorie consumption. So between 500 and 800 calories than I am about the macro. So you can have any one of your meals, but just make sure that they are focused more on protein. So the 40, 30, 30 is the best split, but you can basically eat whatever meals you had planned for that day between six and 8 p.m. So there we have it, FitFam. The periodized eating technique, it's given all to you. What I want you to do is as long as you're trained to do this, you've done the belly burn and you're probably into your third week of the belly burn, this is when you can do it because your blood sugars are all stable, mentally you're in the right zone and it's just physically you're able to do it. Do it in the week three of the belly burn and just watch the fat and the weight shred right off. Now, if you're not a part of the Fit Fam and you're curious about this belly burn, let's get you started with five days for five bucks. Then we'll get you into the next belly burn. We only run six of them a year. And I know my next two are completely full. And a lot of the coaches, they're full as well. So you need to get a hold of us right away. If you're a member or a non-member, just go to the website. On the bottom, it'll say, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. I want to join the belly burn. Start with the five days. Then we'll get you into the belly burn and we'll get you shredded.